This October, the Daily 49er is celebrating queerness in our latest special issue, Out and Proud. But it should be known that media coverage of the queer community should go beyond just simplistic performances of diversity and representation. In this video, I asked three members of the Daily 49er staff to share their experiences with queerness. So I identify as queer, but more specifically, I use bisexual as like an umbrella term because I'm attracted to more than one gender. I identify as non-binary, as a lesbian, and um, as androgynous. So uh, I identify as lesbian and I use she, they pronouns. Um, it was kind of like a journey figuring it out. At first I came out as bisexual and actually it was really funny because my dad like looked at me and he's like, no, I think you're just lesbian. <laughs> and I was like, okay. And then I figured out later, like, yes, I am. You know, it was kind of like realizing over the like years and years, because I didn't figure it out until like late junior year of high school. So that was just kind of like the journey of figuring it out. <laughs> so when I was 12, actually, I realized that I liked women. And that was the big, oh my gosh, I like women. <laughs> And so growing up the way I did, I was from a conservative environment. So it's been a long process for me for the past seven years, trying to like accept myself and love myself. But I think I'm finally really comfortable with who I am and who I love. Well, queerness means to me, first and foremost, of course, being part of the LGBTQ plus community, but it also means just like fully accepting yourself and the people you love. Like I, I love being queer, honestly. I love loving women. I love loving men and non-binary people. I love loving everyone. And I think that's the big thing for me. It's just love. Like being queer is just love. I think I dress very androgynous and I think that all started with like, when I was younger, I picked up a skateboard for the first time when I was like eight. And then like I just like started like going outdoors a lot more and started getting like dirty, started ripping my clothes by falling and stuff. And like, so I just started looking at clothes really differently. like. Like it wasn't about like gender, it was more so about like durability. And I started thinking about how like it's so weird that we put so much importance on clothes and how we like, you know, how we identify with like our specific gender. So I just like like to dress comfortably. It's, it, it just felt really freeing to be as far as like gender presentation goes and like how I dress and how I present myself to the world. And so kind of realizing that I exist outside not only like the sexuality norm, but also like partly like the gender binary really helped with how I dressed and how I felt about myself. Like I felt my confidence and my confidence in my body and how I dressed like just skyrocket after. Um, again, like it just felt like a lot of it had to do with personal freedom. It was sort of like this euphoric realization of realizing who I truly was, which I really love about it. It's just, it's so freeing to not conform to a gender, not conform to a specific identity. Like I do use those identities to label myself in like the queer world because it's kind of like important to know where each other stands like even with pronouns and things like that like if you identify as non-binary you're gonna get you know people who hopefully respect your pronouns as they them and that's like a huge thing um it's also about comfort i feel like it's a lot more comfortable to be myself um in like the queer community because there's just less like competition it's a weird oxymoronic freedom of putting yourself in a box, if that makes any sense. Because I never felt more free than when I labeled myself as lesbian or, you know, use she, they pronouns. So um, it just, it means a lot as like an identity sort of thing to me. Um, and meeting people from the community, having friends in the community, and just kind of feeling like I belonged. But I also have kind of taken that opportunity to educate myself about what's happened, to reach out to people who have had worse than me, a worse time than me and kind of feeling the like the history of it all that's the thing that's the biggest to me is the history behind it and how as far as we've come there's still a lot more to go and keeping all of that in mind as far as like my sexuality goes is very important to me so since i came out i've noticed my life is a whole lot brighter you know and i also love just being able to love openly and I love the community that we have in the LGBTQ plus community. Everywhere you go, there's so much acceptance. And I don't think I really realized that until I came to Long Beach. And I was just like accepted into this wonderful community. And I walked down Broadway Street with the Daily 49ers staff and everything was so gay and there were rainbows everywhere. And I just felt like so welcomed and so comfortable. And like I had finally found my home. 
because I was finally able to be myself and be open and love the people I want.